up you guys it's Luke back here with another video and today I'm super excited because I get to talk to you guys about the new oil updates that came out in May of 2020 this year crazy that they come out during the pandemic but they've been working on this for a lot of years with the SAE and the American Petroleum Institute because auto manufacturers are coming up with more turbo powered high compression ratio four-cylinder engines to meet fuel economy standards there's more blow-by and a lot more fuel is getting past the piston rings and into the oil and which mixes with the oil degrades the oil and can cause a lot more problems and because that creates a higher pressure system the oil has to withstand new temperatures new pressures more fuel that has detergents in it that is going to wear down this oil and won't let the oil perform for what it's been designed to do. All that being said, the reason they came out with these new standards was particularly for the zero weight 16 oils because in order to meet a lot of these fuel economy standards, auto manufacturers are going to thinner and thinner weight oils in order to get better fuel economy and to meet these standards. Now, all that being said, the reason that we're talking today is because in May, the American Petroleum Institute came out with this new standard that all of oil manufacturers had to meet in order to sell oil for specifically for 016. And in order to meet these standards, they had to change the formula of their oil. But that way the oil, it can last longer and go up to 10,000 mile oil change intervals. So if you have a 2019 or even newer vehicle that runs on 016 or even 020, you might be using the wrong oil. Only one way to tell if you're using the correct oil, and that is a special badge that they changed. Instead of having a star shaped circle for the SAE number rating on the bottom right hand corner of the containers, it is now a shield shape. And the shield can only be put on oil that was redesigned and changed. Now I bought two things of 016 Mobile One Advanced Fuel Economy Oil. Both of them came out the same year. However, you can see the difference between the two is the shield. The oil in there is both the same weight as 016, but the detergents and additives that they put in that oil are completely different. One oil will only do so much in these higher compression ratio engines, so you might want to make sure that you're double checking when you go to the store and you're looking for these oils. I took forever to find the proper oil. I went on Amazon, I went on eBay, I went online, I went on Walmart's website, and all these places displayed the proper image of the new Mobile One or no, new Pennzoil oil that was 016 with the shield, but when I would receive the products, they'd come in as the older oils that the manufacturers were selling. It looked like they had updated online the image, but they had not sold out of all the inventory, and so they're just trying to get rid of all this excess that they have so that they can make way. But as of May of 2020, they're supposed to be able to legally sell the newer updated oils, but it's just so difficult to find. I got lucky and went into my Walmart one day and they only had two bottles of the proper oil and they were sitting next to the same identical looking oil on their shelf that so they had four or five containers of. But the only difference wasn't the price, it wasn't the quantity, it wasn't even the sticker. It was simply that badge that indicated that the one container had the right amount of detergents and changes to meet the standards put on it. So when you guys are changing and checking your oil and doing all that stuff, especially if you run on 0820 or 016, make sure, just please, make sure that y'all are checking and getting the best bang for your buck and you're not running on these older oils. Anyways, thank you guys so much for sticking around checking out the video. I hope that this helped you and that you're able to learn more about oil and what goes into them and why you need to check and maintain the proper amount of oil and the type of oil in your vehicle. Make sure to check your owner's manual before you're doing anything different like adding a different weight oil or any of that. See y'all in the next one. Later.